All right, so here we are, our final lesson of this VTM, and what we're going to do is take a look at some commands that, well, you may have already seen us use them every here and there when dealing with bots, uh, but we need to go over them nonetheless, and so this lesson is basically about commands used for bot and path testing. Logan, let's go ahead and start out by looking at how we can, well, add some bots into the level, because right now I'm sure they're all dead. Right. Um, As you so can see there. Just, it's just ourselves now, so if we want to go in and... Add a bot, well, add bots, space, and then a number of bots. So we could do one, there's one bot, entered the game. And there he is. Add bots, two. Now we've got three. And yes, you could type add bots 50, but then expect your machine to slow to a crawl. Yeah, exactly. And don't, don't expect to live long if you do that. That'd be a lot of fun. So you also notice that it just picks some random bot. We got Axon, Prism, and, uh, and so on, Arclight. And let me hide back here. Check it out. We still have the 9,000 health from the last oh, lesson. Yeah, you can just let them shoot you away for a while. So the next command uh, to look at is, of course, so far we've been adding a random bot every time we use add bots. Right. Now we can actually add a bot by name. By name, yeah. So add named bot and then the name. So let's add Ravage into the level. Then Ravage entered the game. Or we could do Gorge. Gorge entered the game. So we can tr control exactly what bot, which is especially useful if you've just brought in a player model and you have the UPL set up so that the player will work as a bot. In order to add that bot, it could be very convenient just to open up the game and type, add named bot, my new bot. Right. Okay, so very simple, very easy. So the next one, which is one we've used, well, many, many times, is kill bots. Of course, very useful. Either A, if you want a different bot, clear the bots out, or if you're testing level and you simply don't want bots, kill bots. And all the bots go all away. All gone. Boy, that was hard. So, always useful for uh, testing in general, because there's many, many times where you don't want to be bugged and shot and knocked off of things, when all you want to do is see how your static mesh is aligning. Exactly. Okay, so a couple more things to take a look at. Let's go ahead and look at show debug now. Okay, to do that, let me basically show debug applies to when you're viewing a bot, and this is where we get into some basic uh, path testing. The first thing I'll do is add a bot into the level, so I'll add, I'll go back and add Gorge back in. Okay. I want to make sure I have a name I can refer to because the next thing I'm going to do is view player Gorge. So now I'm looking at Gorge. I can follow the bot around. So. Now, when you say follow the bot around, you might want to go ahead and point out the fact that what you mean basically is you can spin your camera around. Right. So but it, your camera the cameras it's, already it's a spectator on. camera on that bot, so exactly. I can very easily see exactly what he's doing. Right. Now, while I am spectating a bot, if I activate show or if I use the show debug command, show debug. Check that out, as well as all the other stuff that show debug is doing. Because again, show debug is a general. Um, command that's, uh, that you can use from script to echo out anything you need to write on screen. One of the other interesting things it's doing is actually drawing to the bot's current target. Of course, for the most part, he's sitting there trying to shoot me. But you'll notice sometimes he'll draw a path somewhere else, and it'll actually connect by path nodes. Let's say maybe I can ghost out of the level, and maybe he'll try and leave me alone. Or is he just going to sit there and so Let's see. But again, if I had ghosted out beforehand so the bot could run around... There he goes. Yeah, there. Finally gave up on trying to kill me. But now what he's going to do is you'll see a white, uh, a white and red trace to his current path node or a red trace to when he was trying to kill me. And then there'll, there'll be a final path tracing by individual path nodes to his final destination. So now we have a green path all the way to the elevator and possibly up onto the second level. Well, right now he's just going for the lightning gun and... Now, now he's going to yeah. elevator. So it's really cool to see where the bot's trying to go. As you're pathing out a level, it's, um, it's a very useful command to see if the bot's even trying to go to a certain item. Right. And, of course, show debug again will turn all that information back off. Okay. Very cool. Now, so, all right, go ahead. Let's see. I'm going to go back to viewing myself now. So view self. And once I find the level, let me also kill the bot back out. So kill bots. So that's that's nice for testing paths, but what if we wanted to test the uh, the path node network, but just on our own? We don't really care about the bot as he's trying to go to 10,000 other pickups, and all we want to do is see if he can find the shield belt, or the right. uh, like the overshields. So or basically we can test the path to see if it's valid from any specific point all the way to a, 
a particular object or a particular place in the level, period. Right, and again, this is going to tie back into show debug a little, but first I'll use the remember spot command. So remember spot is the command we're now referring to. So just remember spot. Nothing happens yet, but if I reactivate show debug, now as well as the rest of the information, we also get a path drawn or white line to that path or the spot we were at, and then a green line drawing across all the path nodes. So if I was to ride the elevator up so far, this way it would be closer to take the elevator down. But the moment we get out here, it actually draws across that spot we can jump. Because it knows obviously a bot would be able to jump down. Right. So if I was to take remember spot and remember the spot where I am now up here and jump down, well, I can't jump up there to get to it. So it's going it's forced Routing to draw back through the up elevator. through the elevator. So very useful for testing the, uh, the nav bot's navigation network. And then also you might want to add one more thing, and that's what happens when you, let's say, get to an area that there is no path nodes to help define that path all the way to the right, final Right, it'd be object. very easy to see, because right here you can see, uh, like, every time the path zigzags to a different path node, it would be um, helpful to check if you have a really wide area. Like, if there was a green trace, like a long, straight green trace, then you're getting into the range where a bot might not notice that path node and be able to follow it. Right. So uh, with that, really, it's um, just a few simple commands when working with bots, and, of course, pathing goes hand-in-hand hand with bots. Right. So, really, that's going to wrap up this VTM where we've taken a look at a bunch of different commands that, well, some are fun and some are very useful when developing mods for Unreal Tournament. And with that, we'll bring this VTM to a close. Thanks a lot, everyone.